This is the DIY Audio Guy YouTube channel. In today's adventure, we're going to be talking about ports and how to tune them. Now, this is a flared port that I bought online, but you don't have to do that. You can make a port out of almost anything, like a simple piece of PVC pipe or a rectangle made out of wood. The most important thing you need to understand about tuning a port is a thing called the port tuning frequency, also known as the box frequency or FB. This is the frequency where the subwoofer port is doing the majority of its work. And you can see that if you model a subwoofer port in something like WinISD. Right here we get this hump. If you want a loud box, you can tune a little bit higher and get a big bump in your output. If you're building a home theater subwoofer, you want to tune it lower. That's going to help out with your low frequency effects and really make your movies come to life. So how do you get the exact tuning frequency you're looking for? Well, this formula right here shows you how to do it. Now, don't be scared off by the formula. By the end of this video, I'm going to give you some practical examples and tools that you can use to tune your own subwoofer enclosure. Now, the formula looks really complicated, but it's not. We're going to break it down for you right here. There are three factors that are going to drive the tuning frequency of your subwoofer. The first is the size of the enclosure. This home theater build I'm working on right now is going to be pretty big. The bigger the box, the lower the tuning frequency. The second thing is the vent cross-sectional area, which is just the area of the opening of the port. When the vent cross-section increases, the tuning goes up. You get a higher tuned box when you have a bigger opening. The third factor is the length of the port. As the port gets longer, the box gets lower. And that's all great, but it's not terribly practical information what you really want to know is, for the exact tuning frequency you want, what size enclosure do you need, and what are the vent dimensions that you need? So what I like to do is a little bit of math and rearrange the formula so it looks like this. The way this formula works is you pick the box size and the tuning frequency that you want to give you the sound you're looking for. And then you set the vent opening large enough so that you don't get port noise, also known as chuffing. And that will tell you how long your port needs to be so that you will get the sound you want. I make these calculations so often that I create a spreadsheet to do it for me. All I've got to do is enter in my box volume, the cross section of my port, and my tuning frequency, and my spreadsheet will tell me how long the port needs to be. If you'd like to get a copy of this, instructions are available down in the description. If you'd like to see some practical examples of how these formulas work, check out these videos right here and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next adventure.